All right. In this lesson, we're going to learn how to create custom adapters uh, by extending the base adapter class. All right. So we want to go ahead and make a new project. Uh, so I'm going to call mine name base adapter, and we'll put in a blank activity so we get the floating action button. So let's do that. Uh, we're going to have to create a list view in content main, and we'll create a, a, an adapter class itself. So bringing up Android Studio, new project. I'm going to call this guy name base adapter. And default for everything else. Looks great. All right, uh, so let's see, let's change content main here. Like we said, rather than a text view, we want a list view. Uh, let's see, and we will have its, its width and height uh, match the parent. So let's, let's go ahead and do that. And then of course, there's not gonna be any text on it, but we can get uh, an ID. So we're gonna need that. So ID equals and ID list uh, view, like so. Uh, back in my in my uh, Java code, I'm going to go up here and new Java class, and we'll make our uh, name adapter. It's going to be the, the the type of it. And before I do anything else, I'm going to go ahead and say that this guy extends uh, base adapter. Right. And we'll leave that kind of in a broken state, just just very briefly here. Uh, okay, so so the things that Array Adapter um, did, this is a concrete class, so it did a lot of things for us um, that we're going to have to do in Base Adapter. That's why our code is broken. Uh, base Adapter is an abstract class, so we're going to have to override uh, four different methods here. Um, so it, we can imagine some of the things that, that they're going to do. So get count is, you know, if we ask our adapter how many things are, are you actually managing in your list, uh, you know, we have this method. Um, if we wanted to get an item, or get an item's ID, um, we give it a position in here, and it will return the appropriate thing. And then get view, which is perhaps the most important one. When we say, hey, I want something uh, from a certain position, I want the view in that position, um, could you go ahead and make that for me? Uh, and I will say that, that these guys, we're never gonna call. We're never gonna call get count and get view. Uh, they're, they're called automatically. Um, we could um, call these other ones. I'm not going to. So we're just going to leave those guys just, just stubbed in because um, I, I just don't need them. All right, so let's let's do that. All right, so easy enough to do here in, um, in our IDE. In fact, it gives us as a suggestion, do you want to implement the methods? So we'll take all four of them. The only thing that I want to do here for now is really to just make a constructor. Uh, so uh, I'm going to make a, a name adapter. And I'm going to have it take one parameter, uh, which is the context uh, that it was created with. We know that that's going to be an activity. So um, context, context. And then I will store this guy uh, in a field. It'll be handy to have around later, as we'll see. So private uh, take context, just called my context. OK, so what's going to happen in the uh, activity itself? We, we want to be able to call this constructor uh, and make the adapter. So uh, my adapter, I usually want to refer to from multiple places here. So I'll make that as a field. Uh, so this is going to be um, an object of type name adapter. And that's going to be just, I could call it my name adapter or just my adapter. Um, either one's OK. Uh, then we're going to want to um, get that. I'm going to want my list view first. So I'll go ahead and grab a list view. So I'm just going to capture this guy from, uh, from our, our resource file. So find view by ID, r.id.listview, like so. Uh, I know that when I have a list view that I'm going to want to set its adapter to be um, the adapter that I'm creating. Of course, I haven't made it yet, so the, this, would, this would be a very bad idea to, to, to go ahead and, and do this right now, uh, because I'd, I'd be setting it to a null adapter. 
Uh, but what I want to do is is set the the adapter itself. So um, let's see, my adapter is a new name adapter, and again, it's going to ex expect a context. So we'll pass in this as the activity. So for the uh, the array activity example that we had done, um, we had passed in an array here. Uh, but what I'm, I'm going to do is actually handle that this time in the uh, inside the adapter itself. So let's get the slides caught up here. So uh, we added the constructor like that, um, and then we uh, we basically did the the quick setup that's needed in the activity to tell it, hey, here's my list view, here's the adapter that I'm that I'm about to make, and go ahead and and bind them together. All right, and I say move here, um, moving compared to what you saw in the in the, the code walkthrough that we did earlier. Um, kind of things that I'm going to be doing are, are pretty much identical to, to, to what I showed you in that example. Um, and I've set this up for cut and paste because it's, it's not that exciting to type in a whole bunch of names. Um, but we're going to make an, an, uh, an array list of names, uh, make a little random number generator here. Uh, and then we'll have our constructor go ahead and, and start, off, start us off with five, uh, five random names. Yeah. So feel free to copy and paste this kind of stuff right from the slide if you like. OK, so I grabbed that on my clip, clipboard. And so let's see, really I'm, all I'm going to um, use that for is to paste in the, the get random name. Uh, I can do everything else right here real, real quickly. So I have a random number generator called my random, uh, like so. Uh, if you wanted to pass in a, a fixed seed here for debugging, you could. I'm not going to worry about that for now. Uh, and then uh, I need my, my list. So let's see. So this is an array list uh, of strings and just my names. New array list of strings. I could have done that right in the constructor here. Uh, but in the constructor, I want to go ahead and add a whole bunch of things to them. So for loop, and we'll just add five names in. So uh, my names dot add, and I can get a random name. Okay, uh, pretty good. Uh, I should think about get count here. So what should get count return? Well, now that I have this array list. Probably get a pretty pretty good idea of of, uh, of how many uh, views I'm going to want. Uh, yeah, exactly. It's it's the size of that array list. Um, if I were to run this, uh, I wouldn't see that much exciting because right now get view is is null. So I'll, I'll hold off on that. All right, haven't haven't done anything with that yet. Uh, we talked about get get count here, and again, if, uh, as we add names, as the as the program is going to progress, uh, asking for the size is always going to give us the the right value. All right, so get view. Um, I want a layout. Uh, we saw in the last example that I had a single one-line layout, um, you know, and I could use that again if I wanted to here. Um, but I'm going to make it a little bit more interesting. So we'll we'll have a little two-line uh, name view .xml. Uh, I'm going to leave it up to you to decide whether you want to copy and paste or whether you want to type it in. Uh, depends on how how comfortable you are with making these guys. Um, but if if you can imagine uh, what I had in my uh, when we started off here. Um, we're basically making a layout for one of one of these items, right? So we have a, a you know, I, I chose to use a relative layout. Um, we could have easily used a linear layout on this as well, kind of an arbitrary choice there. But I have one name that's that's big, and then another one that's underneath it that's just in a smaller font. And really, that's that's all you're going to see here when you look in this at this XML. I've given IDs to each one, so name view and position view. Uh, I just have them wrap the content, and they're aligned uh, at the left. Uh, and then I just give a bigger text size for the uh, for the um, for the big one. Uh, and then down here, um, well, so I, I have this just placeholders here for these, but I'm not even going to use them. Uh, and then the second one was kind of the same thing, only I just put a margin on there. So so really not not that exciting. So feel free to just copy it. Okay, so this guy is is a layout that I'm making right now, and it's a row view. Uh, I'm going to call it name view. 
uh, you'll notice that that it's it's not you know it's it's not main it's not associated with a, with a whole activity it's just a smaller thing so I can call it whatever I like uh, so name view and it's gonna stub me in something but I'll go ahead and blow that away and replace it with with what I have uh, on my clipboard okay. and if you want to take a peek at it uh, you'll you'll see what you get here um, make it bigger if we wanted to so so one row. So now I want to uh, make some changes in the, um, or actually to display this guy here. Uh, it turns out that most of the work uh, that that we're going to do in an adapter is in GetView. So let's let's take a little uh, a little uh, look at this right now. This is sort of a standard form for using GetView. Right, we go ahead and and declare a view, uh, and then we check to see whether it's null or not. And that's that's because we. Um, uh, Sometimes uh, what's going to happen is it's going to pass in a view that we can just repopulate uh, rather than having to make again from scratch. Uh, and it, if that's the case, then we can just use it. And that's called recycling the view here. Uh, if there isn't one to recycle, then this convert view is going to be null uh, and we'll have to make a new one. Uh, and then once we've you know, got a view from one means or the other, then we'll go ahead and, and customize it. And this is going to be by adding the data uh, from our, our model object, right? Uh, and then just finally re return the view. So a little bit about this convert view here. Um, it's basically like we said, it's it's an old view that we can reuse if possible. Uh, you know, it, it ends up being really all about efficiency. And if you think about this, you know, if you, ha if you have an adapter that has, you know, a whole bunch of views, uh, do you want to make them every single time, right, in memory? Or do you just want to modify the existing ones that you have, right? And you can start to think about things like garbage collection and, and all this that's going on, on under the hood. Uh, and I'm sure you'd, you you can see why you'd want to recycle the ones that you have. All right, so let's go ahead and and add our code here um, and see see what we get. There's there's going to be some some syntax here that, that we'll have to get right, but pretty straightforward. All right, so I'm going back up to my adapter. And we said it's it's get view is, is what we care about. So get view has to return a view. So I'm gonna go ahead and make a view. Whoops, don't ask me why I gave you that. Uh, make a view here, just initialize it as null. And then if the convert view is equal to null, then we need to make a view. Uh, otherwise, we're gonna convert it uh, from the, the one that, that came in. Right, so we will say uh, that it's just going to equal uh, convert view. Yeah. All right, and then we're going to customize it, like so. All right, so what uh, what is this here? What does it mean to, to make a view? Well, we're going to have to going to have to inflate a view. We've done this before with menus, uh, and we've done this before with dialogues as well. Uh, so let's 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 do something from this. Um, syntax for this is let's see if I if I can remember how to do this. So layout inflator, uh, there's one where you can say make one from a context. Now you remember we passed in our context above here uh, from our activity, so we can use that. This is, this is why we did that. And then this will give us a layout inflator, and then we can inflate then a resource. And we'll see that it, that it says it wants a resource and then a root. Um, so our resource is just going to be r.layout dot and then the name view that we just made here and then as far as a um, as far as this goes uh, we will use the parent okay since it passed it into us that's that's the group that is going to be part of and then whether uh, we want to attach it or not here and I'm not sure whether I, I need to do that uh, I guess it's whether or not I want to attach it is is going to be a boolean there in the end all right and this guy is going to make a view for me so I uh, inflate returns a view all right, so we've got a view, um, either from recycling or making a new one, so now we want to customize it. Uh, so we're going to have to uh, get some information here. So basically, um, it's giving us a position, and that's just the position in the array, right? So I could take uh, my names um, and do a get of that position, and that would give me sort of my current name here. So, so I'll, I'm just gonna say name um, is like that. Uh, and what do we want to do with this name? Well, we want to we want to show it. Uh, we want to show it in the uh, in the the text field there from our row view. Uh, so I'm going to have to capture that guy so so I can do it. So I'm going to say 
go ahead and make a text view. Uh, and I'll call this guy here the, the name uh, text view. And that's, and I'm capturing it, remember, uh, from this view. So view dot find view by ID. And we've seen this syntax before where we're calling it on a specific view that we've just inflated. We did that with dialogues. So view dot find view by ID. Uh, and let's remember, so let's see, uh, I called it name view. Uh, and if you didn't know that, you could just go back and, and take a look at your, uh, take a look at the, the, the layout file. Uh, type cast this guy. And then I could say, hey, name text view, go ahead and set your text to be um, simply just the, the name from here. All right, so it's so pretty straightforward. Uh, so it looks good. I also did something where I was, where I was updating the position. Um, so the, the one in top would be number one, number two, number three, and so on. Just so you can see this position actually showing up here. Uh, so I'm going to do that one, uh, put that in the other text view. So let's see, capture the other one. So text view, and this was position text view, also a text view, view, find view by ID, r.id dot position view. So that's that sort of smaller one underneath. And I want to set its text, set text to be, I'm going to want a formatted string here. So string.format. And I'm just going to say simply, um, I'm number, and then put in a percent D for this guy. Uh, and what I want to pass in for that, uh, so positions are zero based. And uh, if we want to assume that our audience uh, or geeky like we are, or other developers, we could say position, let it be zero based, or we could be nice and, and add one uh, you know, for, for the, uh, for the non, the non geek. Uh, so it looks good here. Uh, so we have a name, we have our text views, we've set this guy. And then what I finally need to do, um, what I've done is to return this view, right? So, so I need to return something of type view, which is this view that I've been uh, modifying here. Okay, so I fired up my emulator. Uh, got it here and whoops I did, didn't put in my, uh, my my plus sign you could easily pull that from the, the prior project if you want I'll end up doing that here at some point um, but let's see what happens so so I hit uh, plus and of course I haven't really haven't set up the plus yet um, but let's at least look what we have for the other things so we have uh, one two three four five and we have five random names showing up with the proper formatting so pretty cool right uh, let's get the slides caught up here um, so again, so, so what we did is, is we set up the view um, if we had to. So again, we're, we're doing a little bit different syntax here, but, but basically um, getting a layout inflator from our context and then inflating the, the resource file, uh, attaching it to our parent. And then everything else after that is, is really no, uh, probably no surprise. I did it in a little bit order, a little bit different order here in the slides, but I, I captured the text views again from the view that I just inflated. Uh, and then I w went ahead and and grabbed a name, um, grabbed the name from the, the current position that I was that I was getting the view for, and then set the uh, the text um, on that to be the name, and then um, set my position. That's all we have for this lesson. Come back next time to find out how we can modify this guy.